I regularly muck out my compost bins every six months and I reckon this stuff is the elixir of life for my garden. So as a result, I don't want to waste even a tiny little bit. To make sure it all goes into the garden, I lay a tarp under the whole job. When I think about it, a good tarp is one of the most useful tools in the garden. You can use it to drag materials around the garden, in this instance, delivering my compost to trees. It's also useful for moving cuttings back to the compost bin. Whites have two grades of tarps. This is the medium duty type, which comes in a range of different sizes. And these are what I call the workhorses of the garden. These are ideal for camping as a ground sheet, or you can use them as a painter's drop sheet. But here in the shed, I'm going to use it to keep the dust off the beast. Made from high-density, UV-resistant polyethylene weave, these are tear-resistant and provide water-resistant triple-layer protection. One of the messiest jobs in the garden is repotting a large advanced tree like this one. This is the miracle tree, and like any plant, it needs to be repotted every two to three years. Even a big pot like this, you tend to get root binding occurring. So the trick is lay out your uh, tarp, pull this over, and away we go. I'm using the heavy duty tarp with both silver and black sides, which is twice the density of the material. Here's a tip. When repotting large plants particularly, lay it on its side. Makes it easy to get it out. Now there's 101 uses for tarps in the garden. For an example, if you've got a big tree like this and you're bringing it home from the nursery, never try and put it in the upright position on the way home. Better still, lay it down and then cover it with the silver side of the tarp facing upwards. That'll reflect the heat, keep the plant cool, and it'll be a beautiful journey all the way home. <laughs>